What a week we had after blue chips or big cap tech companies reporting earnings. Two weeks ago, we were talking about a crash, a correction, and all that. And this week, we can see that everything has kind of recovered a little bit. Not still to the levels that it was months ago, but still it kind of recovered a little bit. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about what we should expect for this week, which companies are going to report earnings, which companies I'm interested in, and more. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing and smashing that like button since it really really helps the channel out. As we can see here the S&P 500 is up 1.55% in the past five days. Obviously in the past month it's still down 4.16% and since it's peak as we can see here it's still down 6.11% but we can see that it was down it was actually down more than 10%. I don't know what's not showing it here, but it was down more than 10%, which is why it entered in correction levels. Then the Nasdaq is up 2.07% in the past five days, but in the past month is down 6.52%. Since it's peaked back in November, we can see it's still down 12 so it is still in correction levels, but it kind of recovered in the past um, weeks 5.58%. Last but not least, the Dow Jones is up 1.15% in the past week. In the past month, it's still down 3.16%. And since its peak, as we can see here, it's still down 4.65%, but it was down 7%. Now, we already know what happened in the past week with all these different earnings. I posted a video yesterday on Sunday doing a kind of little summary of everything that happened since Netflix they reported earnings two weeks ago, then Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, and many more companies that reported earnings that actually went really crazy as they went up and down massively 10 15 or even 50% for Snapchat. If you want to go and see that and watch that video after this one to kind of know what happened last week with earnings. But let's talk about what's going to happen this week with companies reporting earnings. First of all, on Monday, we're going to see on Semi in the morning and Simon in the afternoon. And I don't see any other company that catch my attention. I have Chegg here, which is a service that I used to use a lot in college, but never invested in the company as I don't like that much. But then on Tuesday, we're going to start in the morning with Pfizer and then BP. Which you guys can see here that it went up 26% after markets on last Friday because of the news that they announced or that they came out as Peloton stock surges on reports Amazon and Nike are among potential buyers. And we know that Peloton have been having a decrease in revenue in the past quarters as they had a huge growth in 2020 and it Got, and have not been able to catch up with that kind of growth. So it has been actually decreasing. And now some people, Amazon and Nike are behind this company. As we can see that it's actually down 83% in the past year because it got really overvalued in my opinion. The stock mainly went up because Amazon approached the company about a potential deal. Other potential suitors are circling the journal said, but no deal is imminent and there may not be one at all. So we will have to wait and see until Tuesday they mentioned something on their earnings report or not but the Financial Times separately reported that sneaker maker Nike is evaluating a bit as well the talks are preliminary it said and Nike has not spoken with Peloton and many other people were saying that maybe Apple should buy Peloton as well instead of increasing or trying to grow a new fitness business just buy Peloton and expand it the way the way they want because we know Apple has a lot of cash at the moment and, my, and Peloton is worth $8 billion on market cap. The potential interest from outsiders comes as Peloton shares have tumbled in recent months and activist group Blackwell's Capital, which has less than 5% 5 5 stake, has urged the company publicly to consider a sale. It is letter, in its letter to Peloton's board, which also called for Chief Executive John Field to be fired, Blackwell speculated that potential buyers could include Apple or, or Nike. But I do have to say something. Many people started saying on 2020 that Peloton was going to be the future and everyone was gonna just buy Peloton and start working out at home. But I have to be honest and say that that is not that easy for everyone. And even though I do believe there is potential in this industry, as well as many other companies are doing the same, just like Apple is, has their Apple Fitness, Nike has their own platform but obviously Pel Peloton is a lot another level with their bikes with their treadmills and all that 
But in my opinion, I don't believe that Peloton is going to disrupt the whole industry because I believe that many people like or enjoy going to the gym physically and or having a personal trainer as I do, for example. But then we also have Chipotle, which, which I don't invest in it, but it has always been very interesting company. The growth that they have been having is impressive and the stock as well. But then Corsair, another company or stock that have been going down massively, even though it was up on Friday 2.65%, but in one year is down 58%. As we can see that since its peak in 2021, it's down 57.68%. And even though I believe that the gaming industry has a lot of potential in the long term and has a lot of poten expansion potential as well, um, this kind of companies have been suffering because of supply chain issues ch cheap shortages and more but i do believe that it's at a nice price right now to invest long term i'm not investing in it i don't want to add new companies to my um portfolio at the moment i'm already tracking two new companies to be able to see if i'm able to start a position in them but i have to say that it's a very attractive company still i'm not investing in it the industry is very attractive as well then we have lyft which i invest in it i'm i I'm holding my position, I'm not adding more to my position as I'm already up about 80% if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not adding more to my position and obviously I really want to know how they did. On Wednesday we have CVS, very interesting company as well, which I don't invest, but in the afternoon we have Disney that I invest in it and I've been adding a lot of money since their previous third quarter report because we can see that the stock is actually, is actually down 19.86 percent in the past six months and since in the past year it's down 25 percent since its peak in 2021 it's down 27 percent i have to say that i believe this drop was kind of necessary but i've been adding i think that i'm not down neither up i think i'm break even with, with this position at the moment i might be down about one or two percent but i've been adding as well with this drop because i believe this company has a lot of potential yes they announced a slowdown in subscribers in quarter three and most likely the same thing will happen in quarter four as it happened with netflix but i believe that in the long term this is going to be a good investment as all of the other business segments have been also recovering very nicely now then we have twilo and i rob it and thursday we have coca-cola and pepsico in the morning which i don't invest in any of them but coca-cola is a nice dividend stock and in the afternoon we have a firm which is a very nice stock that is down massively as we can see here since november 2021 is down 61 but it's a stock with a huge potential just that it got really overvalued at 164 dollars for sure and this drug was necessary like many other non-profitable growth companies and last but not least we have twitter which is a stock that I have been tracking. I'm not investing in it, but I like their ad strategy and all that. But the stock is down 45% in the past six months. So obviously I'm very interested to see how they are doing and what their plan for the future is. As you can see that I, I use their platform a lot. We also have Zillow Group and Expedia and also have work, Upwork, which remember that I used to hold this stock, but I sold it for a profit of about almost 200% and I have been tracking it, but I've never invested in it before. And I don't believe I will add to this position ever again at the moment maybe in the future as it has been dropping as we can see here it's down 48 percent in the past year so i actually sold it for a knife profit and we can see this huge volatility in the stock now this week is going to be volatile in my opinion as it happened last week we know what happened last week with amazon and all of the uh, these other companies dropping 10 20 percent and then going up 15% which was really crazy and I expect this week to be also um, kind of volatile with, ma with many of these companies and in the market as well and even more well we see more and more reports about about the economy what I would like to know which companies are you looking this week that are reporting earnings I will leave you here the video that I posted on on Sunday of the summary that of what happened last week and here for you to subscribe thank you and see you next time